Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily inspiration card. If you would like a personal reading, just go to angelsouls444.com and of course thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing if you like this content. All right, we have for today, Knight of Raphael. Oh God, let's, <laughs> somebody's gonna come out here and, and charm you. That, that's what it felt like. Listen, hey, yo, I know tarot readers out there. You're like, I, I know the gig. I know the things about all these cards. I, I know. I do too. I've been doing this for a very long time. But I've chose to do a very different practice here. So although we have a blending here, it's not exactly strictly that. Like it's not tarot rules. Okay? Thank you. Anyway, <laughs> Night of Raphael. It says romantic, dramatic, dramatic being the key word poetic, introspective. Before I read the rest, I'm getting this image of somebody, like maybe for some of you, be careful, it's an ex who comes out and is like, but I love you, Sheila. And he's like screaming on your lawn and being like, you've got to take me back. And you're like, will you shut up? Get away from my window. Um, <laughs> that could be that. And this says committed romantic relationships. I wouldn't say that. Um, being swept off your feet, potentially. Uh, situations or topics that make your heart flutter. Um, maybe not in a good way, <laughs> okay? So it's, it's a mixed thing depending on who you are. But this could definitely be somebody who comes back in and they're just trying to charm you. They're just like, oh, but baby, forget about the past. Forget about how I treated you before. It's fine. I'm here to heal all that. I'm better now. So that's for some of you. And then there's like Sheila with the guy screaming on her lawn. Okay. Um, <laughs> for others of you, this is a new beginning. This is sort of maybe someone who comes in and they mean well. This could definitely represent somebody who could be a good love partner for some of you, but they wear their heart on their sleeve. And in this day and age, we have been kind of trained away from that. And I, we could have a whole discussion about whether that's good or bad. But, you know, this whole thing of I have to be your knight in shining armor or whatever equivalent for you that would be, we have been trained away from that. So you may not like it, okay, at first. <laughs> but <laughs> this, it feels like someone who's annoying. It feels like someone who's annoying because they're a little icky. They're a little mushy. They're a little too romantic, okay? A little, you might even, some of you I heard old fashioned. Like they're a little old fashioned and you're like, okay, this, this thing of like trying to woo me is disgusting and I don't, I don't like it. Some of, if someone out there is doing that, comment down below if that's your personality because I'm totally picking up on that. But I think this is someone who might grow on you, okay? So we have kind of two different groups of people going on here. One is like the ex is coming back being like hyper annoying just because they're screaming on your lawn. And then you have this other set of people where <laughs> a person comes to you and they're annoying because they're overdoing it. And uh, again, it's, it's mostly because of how we've been trained and maybe they're from a different generation or something like that where they think that this is romantic. So anyway, we will leave it there. Good luck. <laughs> Sending you so much love and take care.